We would like to thank Noom for sponsoring this video and let you know if you stay tuned, there is important Annapolis Boat Show information at the end. If there's going to be one thing that really changes the look of our catamaran and make it seem like an actual boat, this step is going to be it. After eight years of the nomadic life involving crossing oceans in a 34-foot saber, refitting an aluminum boat, and then taking that to the Arctic Circle, we're back at it again with a brand new build. This is Matt and I'm Jessica. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and join us every week as we start our newest project of building a 42-foot catamaran from the ground up. We have just moved all of our plywood off of the door so we can get the doors open for the first time in about 11 months. Uh, to be honest, there's really been no reason before this and plus the storage yard over there has always had boats kind of like parked in front of it. But now we are going to work on getting the cabin tops in place to hopefully soon attach. So pretty big stuff happening here. Once that goes on, like the whole shape will be complete and it's gonna look amazing. These have been sitting there for I don't even know how long. Luckily they haven't had to be moved around too much. So we've got Tucker helping us today and there's also a backhoe so that even though I think the three of us can like lift it around, Tucker's gonna get on the backhoe, like lift it up and then we'll be able to get it on deck and at least like prep it to start to bond together. Then we're all right. Cheers, <laughs> Tucker. Good job. Between the three of us, we were able to walk the port and starboard side of the cabin tops in front of the tent where the backhoe would be able to lift them up. So first step is done. We have the, our cabin top comes in three sides, a very large, heavy centerpiece, and then the two separate sides. And you can actually see on this one where the, there's the cutout for the raised helm on starboard. Um, so we're definitely not working with the bigger piece today, but we're gonna get some like uh, jacks up on the bridge deck and just kind of work on getting these up there. As heavy as I Let's see how heavy the centerpiece is. <laughs> Ready? All right, now. Yeah. Whoa. Big reveal! There's our boat! What is this, the old MTV Cribs or something? <laughs> this is where the magic happens? You know, I don't know if we've had the doors open yet when the cabin tops have been bonded on or the cabin sides. Taking the nose cones and putting them outside, we wanted to get out anything that might be a tripping hazard or something the cabin tops might bump into. Inside the cockpit, we not only had to tidy up a bit to make spaces for walking around, but we also needed to put up large jack stands for the cabin tops to rest on once we got them into place. Over there, you said, right? Just move it back. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. There's definitely a user. Oh, that's pretty heavy. Fingers out? Yeah. Oh, you're She's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they're still under there. Nice that there was concern for my hands. Yeah, this one's considerably lighter. Matt, get your fingers out. Moving one of the storage trailers out of the way, we were almost ready to lift the first piece into place, which was going to be the port side. We 
we've got the straps on the uh, port side now. We're just about to get it lifted up. At this point, it's a game of balancing, but better to do it right. Now that I am officially over the hill, I have been putting a lot more thought into the foods I eat every day as well as how active I am because as I get older, I'm realizing the things that worked for me 10 years ago are not gonna work for me anymore. I love using Noom because it's tailored to fit me and what my health goals are. Instead of just being a dieting program or a way to count calories, it really gets into the psychology of why you want to be healthier and even why you follow the same patterns that you do right now. So why do I want to lose those last few pounds? It's pretty obvious. I live my life in a swimsuit. Or at least I did before we took this project on. I used to lead a pretty active life and I always cooked all of my meals at home, but now that we're stationary in the US, yeah, we're not always the healthiest and we definitely eat out a lot more. But Noom helps to hold me accountable for what I'm eating each day and even categorizes my food into things I can eat as much as I want of and the things I should be eating in moderation. I now count my steps every day and I'm also a lot more likely to do cardio activity even if it is just so I can splurge on some of those other treats that I should be eating in moderation. In the past month, I have gone down three pounds. My skin is looking so much better from all of the water I'm drinking. And I've even found myself craving those healthy meals that originally I kind of had to coerce myself to eat more than maybe once or twice a week. So if you would like to learn more, make sure to go to our description box below for the link or go to noom.com slash mjsailing and take your free Noom evaluation. I do love GoPros, but typical, the thing shut off on me right when the exciting part was happening of lifting that up. It overheated, but we now have at least one cabin side on the top. Okay, so we got it lifted to this point at least, and I think we can manhandle it between the three of us. This is port, correct? So yeah, this will be going yep. along here. <sighs> People need to learn to read in the truck. This guy is going to go on the jack stand in the back area. Okay. Actually, Tucker, if you don't mind, I'm going to have you do that, this piece. We're going to have to walk this whole section. You'll be walking it back while we're trying to bring it up and over here. You worried about this? Just don't fall. Don't fall. What? You've got plenty of space. Yeah. Here's how I'm gonna All right. Watch out, follow me because there's a fall. I'm gonna slide this over a little bit. Look at that. So big, I can't even get it all in one frame or in the frame. This is amazing. And I have to say with three people and a backhoe, these side ones are actually pretty manageable. Um, but in two days, I think we're gonna try and get the big centerpiece in and then we will need lots of extra hands. I think it has to come back quite a bit further. Uh, I can't remember how much of an overhang. It definitely wasn't this much overhang.
once we could get the starboard cabin top to rest at least on the bows, we knew with the three of us we could walk it into place. But the further we could get it back, as well as getting it fore and aft, the easier that feat would be. Well, we have it up, now we just need to get it in place. And this one was definitely heavier than the other. Only by about 50 pounds, but enough to make a difference for these guns. So now Matt is going to try and get it so that he can strap it to the cabin top through one of the windows, because the last thing that we want to happen is for it to slide down next to the tent. I'd say we put in some good work up to this point. Stomachs are growling. I ordered some burgers from the restaurant next door. It is time for a lunch break. And probably a beer. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It has been so long since I've had this. Lunch of champions. Tuck and I are splitting the Chesapeake burger, which is a burger topped with crab meat. So because it's terrible for us. <laughs> now we are going to attempt, and I definitely say attempt and very slowly at that, to use the backhoe to try and lift like the really big centerpiece away from the tent so that we can walk it around to the front and potentially get it up in place, we'll see. How much do we reckon the center section weighs? Uh, this probably... Tucker and I lifted it. 350? Three, 350. Moment of truth now. There's like a curve. I just don't know if it's like yeah, a bubble. Yeah, it's, it's too much curve. Okay. Down. We've at least managed to get it away from the tent side now. We've cleared all of the blocks and jack stands that the marina uses and we have it on the other side. So Matt is now talking about uh, flipping it over so that the gel coat side is up, which we're going to need when it goes in the tent. And we have the support bars on there now. So yeah. Water oh, break. Water break. I was going to say, I could definitely use one. Yeah. <sighs> Looks good to me.
Well, we're kind of like a step further. Can you really get a feel for interior space? Like cobweb is hanging. <laughs> like we're ready for Halloween. As you can tell, they are not in the proper place yet. We ran out of energy. I'm exhausted. And stands. And stands, and we need more people. This thing is just insanely awkward to try to lift and move back without it toppling on, without hurting anybody, without uh, hurting the boat. So we figure it's best just to wait until we have some people here. So we're going to brace it for tonight so it's safe. Um, and then we will reevaluate this and come back tomorrow with some more people where we can get it back into place. Thanks, sir. Hey everyone, we are only a few days away now from the Annapolis 2022 Fall Boat Show and we are so excited to be there every single day and see so many of you that are coming. Hopefully most of you have your tickets already, but if you haven't, you can still use code MJSALE22 to get $5 off each ticket, so make sure to go ahead and do that. And we are going to be at the YouTube Sailing Channel's booth on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so definitely make sure to swing by and see us then. We'll put those times in the description box below, but as far as it stands right now, Thursday we close the booth out from 5 to 6.30 p.m. On Friday we are there from 3 to 4 p.m. and on Saturday we are at the booth from 1.30 to 2.30 so definitely make sure to uh, stop by and say hi there. The other thing I wanted to briefly touch on is get-togethers. We are having a Patreon meetup on Sunday the 16th of October uh, so for all of our patrons that information is going to be up. We cannot wait to see you there and we're hoping to open the tent up so everybody who is in the area that could get themselves over to Kent Island could come see our build and the progress because especially when I think about where we were last year we have gotten so much done and we're so excited to show it off but as you saw in this episode we just got the cabin tops on temporarily which means until they are permanently bonded on our insurance company won't let us have any meetups there due to liability uh, just because the only thing that's really holding these really large, really heavy pieces up right now are a few jack stands and them kind of balancing on each other. And so I guess it would be too easy with large crowds of people for like somebody to potentially bump into those, knock them down, chaos ensues. So unfortunately we cannot have a meetup here at the tent this year. Um, but if you are ever just passing through the area, definitely shoot us an email. We love to have visitors show off our work so far. And then next year, we're definitely going to have it ready. So we're looking forward to seeing all of you here in just a few days. And we hope that you're going to enjoy the boat show as much as we are.